Hello there all, Roberto here. All right, I'm up here doing our fire watch. We're on a uh, level one now, so we gotta do an hour of fire watch. So I figure I'll snap out a quick little video and show you guys a log inside. This is a small log inside, it's a Yoder side. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my 325 shovel there. I've done a video on the 324. This right here is the bad chicken. I love this machine, smoothest dang loading machine you could possibly get your hands on. I mean, this thing is pretty much the cat's meow for being on the landing. And actually it's done quite a bit of shovel logging. As you can see, it's got some scratches and dings on her. And uh, it's got 16,000 hours, 16.5 now. I'll go up, I'll show you guys some of my Wahoos. Dang log got away from me and bent my exhaust. I'm not proud of these by any means. I mean, when I got this thing, it was it was just as nice as that 324 in my video. It was just a cherry. That was still pretty green at the time when I got it. So, you know, some of these could have been avoided if I was a little better. But I've gotten a little better in my days. You see the, the thing there, the transponder right in there, whatever, to where the boss can get on the computer and check on it. I got it like that. The guy, uh, Jay, I got it from, I think he knocked that off the get. Like, knocked that off as soon as he got it, just so the boss can check up on him. Because this is the first 325 that this Alpha got. I got it at uh, 8.5, right under 9,000 hours. It's at 16.5 now. It's got uh, some aftermarket tracks, which I'm not a big fan of. I like the Star Rollers. They kept the tracks cleaner and uh, seemed seemed to just be better. These these rollers here, whatever, kind of kind of junk. And uh, I'm not sure what tracks we went with, whatever. But they're starting to break a little bit. Of course, they have six thousand hours on them. And uh, all right, there's my big wahoo right there on the windshield. I was going to swing a uh, piss fur uphill, and I had it healed up. And then as I went to go swing, whatever, it hopped off my heel rack came over and got me in the windshield. It freaking scared the heck out of me. And uh, it kind of pushed that bar back right there behind the scuff. So now it's kind of my handrail. So whenever I hop in that 324, I go to reach for my little messed up bar and it's not there and it's pretty, yeah, spooky. Which, let me tell you, these things suck to fall out of. I've actually fell out of this thing, had my lunch bag and my coffee cup and computer because we got to have a little laptop deal and a printer or whatever for our tickets you know and going paperless well i guess it's a printer it prints paper but yeah i can't can't complain too much because i actually like it better than the carbon copies just because when we do run the carbon copies i got to fill out just stacks of tickets do my homework and all that to where this thing does all my homework for me so it's kind of cool well i was hopping out and i was holding on to that handrail there stepped down then lost my hand you know i lost my grip and fell right to those tracks put a hole in my side i ended up breaking two uh, i think it was three ribs maybe it was just only two ribs and uh fractured my hip a little bit and uh yeah needless to say it sucked stacking brush the next day and uh finally i ended up getting vertigo and driving to work couldn't see anything so i ended up having to go to urgent care it was a week later and uh yeah they told me they were like oh have you change your sleeping habits at all i was like yeah i messed up my ribs so i i had to sleep on the other side and i guess i threw the crystals off of my head and then they did an x-ray and found out i had three broken ribs and a fractured hip well that was all fun again whatever that learning experiences sometimes they suck and but they're good for you in the end all right this is a 240x link belt this little thing is a ball of fire right here it's got the little four cylinder azuzu but uh man this thing is a freaking powerhouse it's a uh, wartaw 622 head and uh being the little excavator boom on it this thing it just you could zip right through the logs i mean it it does a good job clean clean job super good little machine super reliable and of course you always got to watch out for your hoses you know, you ram dangle head and know know that but besides that, it's been a pretty good, reliable machine. I think it's right around 11,000 hours. And Bert, he runs this thing. This is his baby. He's got the seat all laid out in there, and he just sits there and puts on classic rock and jams out with his clam out and spits logs. And uh, occasionally he does a good job. I mean, he's kind of... Actually, he did a decent job right here. I can't really c complain. 
And when I when I run dangle head, I try to get my butts a little more lined up, but man, these are all loadable. All right, brush pile. As you can see, it's a bunch of tan oak coming up, so I'm having to come over, grab his brush pile, and throw it over there. But he does actually pretty good consolidating his brush and all that. He does a way better job consolidating brush than I I can. Of course, he has way more time than me. I mean, I've I've hopped in there, whatever. I've ran it for a week or so, and here and there, and I, I can do it. But at the same time, I'm not a processor operator. So here's the processor. Link Belt 240X2 is what this one is. Good machine. It's got this uh, knob on the throttle, whatever. You turn the throttle all the way up where you can actually push a button and kick up and give yourself another couple hundred RPMs. It's called the SP mode, which uh, we, do, we call it the superpower, superpower mode. And uh, here is the Yoder. This right here is a Komatsu. 300 this is probably in all reality one of the most reliable freaking machines at this outfit as long as i've been here when i first started setting jokers uh it was about 14 years ago this is what i started under yes this machine is it's old i mean it needs line board and booms a little loose and but the thing is this old girl she chooses to life every morning and just does a phenomenal job i'll kind of show you how a yoder set up it's a as you can see, it's just a really big shovel. I think it's a 2000 model or something, you know, and uh, I think this one here is uh, an 11 or 12. And I think my 325, I think that one's a 16. Uh, maybe a 15, I'm not sure. Cause we have a three, we have three of those 325s and the 324. This was number one up there. But back to the Komatsu, old Monty's running this. Old Monty, he's pretty much the best he can get in a dang Yoder. That old man is just smooth as eggs. Good guy, can run the heck out of this thing. Just don't piss him off, because then stuff's gonna go a little Western. But, but we've all pretty much learned our lesson there, so we try to keep Monty nice and happy. All right, so what we did here, we well, not me, because I mean, this was rigged up way before I ever came along. Two blocks, you got this one here for the skyline. We got that one there for the skid line. As you can see, the top skid line or skyline, bottom's the skid line there. When it's up in the air, you know, your skid line, it's actually a little lower just so it, it helps spool the drum a little bit better. Having it drop down, then your lines don't tangle as much. We chained up the grapples so they're not slapping all the time because they are constantly bleeding off. So. Well, we had a binder on it, but the binder ended up breaking. So we're gonna, I'm going to get a twist binder when I remember to grab it at the shop. And uh, here we got a little Acme 10. These things are freaking tough. I mean, if you have a small logging operation, you want a tough freaking car, this is it. I mean, when I first started, we had an Acme 10 on here also, whatever. But that thing, we... We beat the heck of it out of it. There was no paint left on that freaking thing. And it take hits, fall out of the sky, and dang thing just wouldn't freaking wouldn't quit. Just a freaking tough little machine. They make these things tougher than heck. It's actually out of Eugene, I do believe, where they build these at. And uh, you know, this one being the 10, it's just a one-speed slack puller. So you know. The newer ones, like the 110 and stuff like that, whatever, they are two-speed. You could kick it in two-speed, and it'll spit line a little bit faster. But these 10s are actually a little bit lighter, and we're running a three-quarter line as a Skyline right now instead of the 5.8s. So, I mean, this light car, that line, it's, yeah, it's good setup. I'll come over here and look off the hill for you guys. We're almost finished with this setting because we're coming through. Jeffrey went and shovel logged, as you can see, all those little brush piles, and we're getting the stuff that's pretty much just too steep for him and that shovel, which there's not much that guy won't do in a shovel. It's pretty, pretty amazing actually watching him go some of the places he's going nowadays with the stuff they're calling shovel ground. But uh, as you can see, it kind of drops off. He went down and got this little flat down in there, but it's dropped off down there. That's pretty much us. So we're rigging up lift trees. We're in that one there. And we got two guys out in the brush.
and uh, you know occasionally whatever we'll have someone come over and rig a tree either that or one person will break off and rig a tree because me I'm a fat kid I don't I don't rig trees anymore and stuff I don't miss it don't miss it at all and I guess once you get in the shovel you kind of get spoiled so if you don't have to and not all that I'm, I'm fat and out of shape uh, if I had to hike down there and climb up that dang tree yeah my trucks would be back yelling at me and stuff but all right this is a small log inside the other side I figured I'd go through and show you guys the equipment maybe I'll get a video of this running one of these days I think I probably already do have a couple you know the yoder pulling a turn or something like that or process of running some logs there's my gooch crummy uh up there we got the fire truck you can see the top of it it's parked at this top landing but I've got another 15 minutes so I figured I'd snap out a quick little video thank you guys for watching and if you like my videos Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Have you ever worked around a Yoder? What do you think of these Kamatsus? That old girl, she is a steed. I mean, yeah, compared to these two newer, nicer machines, you know, it's like, God, what is that thing? But when it comes to reliability, that old girl, yeah. I mean, that it doesn't get any better than that Kamatsu there. That thing is a freaking steed. Plus, it's just so beefed up all the guarding on it's just incredible and actually it's really stable i've actually done a little bit of shovel logging with it before and uh that thing even for how big it is and kind of awkward it is a really stable machine all right thanks for watching stay awesome